Hey bros, what's going on? Kunal here, Bulls on Wall Street. Hey, happy Monday to everybody. Uh, interesting day in the market. We're finally getting the pullback that you know we've been talking about, you know, ad nauseum for quite some time. And uh, you know, it's this good stuff in here. Like, you know, we want to see we want to see this kind of action. You know, we have now a day three of the pullback, and this is to be expected, right? We kind of came out of this flag, and we've been just really ripping for some time and so this is going to be you know uh, a healthy pullback i think it is happening on a slightly increase in volume but nothing i would say um nothing i would say that's alarmist about it underneath the hood we got really extended i mean if you go 440 to 480 i mean that's a lot of points in just a few days and if you're looking at just right from you know um the end of April to now, I mean, you're talking <laughs> 10 plus percent. It's a huge move that requires some digestion. And we had a blow off in the video right last Thursday. And so we're getting uh, some uh, weakness on that. And then there was some notes out on the video today. And so that caused uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of nastiness. And so NVIDIA's pulled back nicely. Now you're talking about 25 points from uh, its top and we're kind of coming back into some levels of support now. We've had three, you know, three decent down days. And I think if we get a gap down on this tomorrow, you know, probably the market bounces up. Um, 25 points is a decent retracement on something like that. It is in a little bit of no man's land, so we'll have to see where it opens up. If we got a gap down on this, then, dude, we're ready to party. We get a gap down on this, we're ready to party. There's just no getting around that bad boy. So... Let's see. Uh, let's see what's in the cards. You know, this is a huge down day for it today, and for the rest of the chip sector. You know, you saw um, SMCI uh, get smoked out, and Dell, and right, uh, get smoked out, and right. So you're coming back, and you're working off some of these conditions. So let's see what happens with these. You know, tomorrow. My gut feeling is if they gap down tomorrow, uh, we're gonna long them. So what I want to do is like gap down on Dell. If we get back into this zone, anywhere in you know, this kind of zone here, I think, um, man, that would be just a sweet, that would maybe set up a, a really nice, really nice bounce on this. I, I, I want a gap down in NVIDIA, right? I, I want a gap down in NVIDIA somewhere for a day four stretch. I think that would be really good. The location on this is, you know, kind of shady. But I think the one that's got the good location is Qualcomm on the gap down. So we got 200, and then we got the lower Bollinger Band right here. If we gap down through that, I think that would set up a you know a nice kind of rubber band snapback on the long side. Um, it, this did have some news out that um, they were having some compatibility problems with uh, some of their new software um, that's been causing this. But you know those type of things are usually one-off events. You know, they get, you know, bought back up. And it ha also happened to be the day that NVIDIA is tanking, too. So probably a little bit of excess selling. Uh, give me a gap down, and I think we'll be just fine on these. But we need the gap down. If they gap up, it'll be a little bit more tricky. Like, do you got to chase them? You know, I'm not sure. Um, you know, I'm not sure exactly how to how to do that. If, I, I would leave it alone if it gapped up. I'll, I'll put it that way. I want give me the gap down, and we can come in with size. Now let's talk about some other names for today or tomorrow that I really really like. On the short side, I got this NNIE man. We had this on the watch list for the long when it broke here, and it's had a huge run now up a couple hundred percent since then. If this opens up strong, or even a flat open on this. I think you know we can short this for a rubber band short. It's got a really nice look to it. Um, yeah, counter trend trading is a biatch, but this has got just like an awesome, right? It's got an awesome setup on it. Give me a gap up. Uh, a firm had a little bit of news out today and had a really nice trend. They're bucking the tech market, you know, and so that's something we love to see, right? You know, you're getting all these stocks getting smoked out. You got coin here. Um, you know, coin and all these, right? Uh, semiconductor stocks get smoked out. Uh, a firm leading the way today uh, on, on some of these mid caps. And, you know, we also saw the IWM show uh, a decent amount of strength, too. So that's, you know, a, a, a positive. I thought Chewy, Chewy had a nice day today. Pulled back into the 9 EMA 
and ripped up um just an awesome you know just an awesome look on this thing a longer term bottoming pattern has been in the works here you know at this 25 just such a key right this 25 was just a, such a key level any kind of building over this i think is really positive for the company cvna we had this on the watch list last couple days right through the 9 ema a week open on this one and i think we take it for the red to green and you know you've got some room up here to kind of back and fill before its earnings come out on 717 you know i wouldn't be surprised he'd come into the 130 before the earnings come out gev this is a a, a ipo stock a little bit thin, you know, for an $180 stock, only does 3 million shares volume, but just right at the sweet spot. It got rejected at the high because there's only a second test of this level, but now you're coming into the third test. I do think you got room to about 186, 190, you know, if it can rip through this. I like this one. Uh, Vista Print or Vista Corp, I should say, not Vista Print. Um, Vista Print here is starting to really coil up. So this is the hot stock of, you know, the year on, on the, some of these, you know, this sector and now you've got this nice kind of coil pattern that's been just developing here and uh, let's see if you can kind of come out of this zone i think that could kind of uh you know let it work its way back up there it's got decent enough range on it. it's got a five percent atr on it which is frankly uh, pretty good i mean you know for uh, 80 dollars stock five percent atr I, I, I'm, I'm into that you know snow on the short side too you got a bear classic just bear flag here right a rip down sideways consolidation 90 ma coming on top same type of deal on w here it's really any kind of spikes up on these uh this one and snow let's try to see if we can roll it over or if we get you know any kind of good intraday setup on this uh qualcomm we talked about only in a gap down i went along this one smart and then the last one i've been waiting for smart to break for quite some time it'll happen when it's just kind of like nobody's looking we're getting into that sweet spot you know, and hey, keep an eye on uh, Bitcoin. It's holding 60,000 right now. This is Beto. This is the ETF. Bitcoin's holding, uh, you know, right above the 200 day moving average. I think their 200 day moving average is like 58,000 or 57,500. You got kind of close to it. Um, you've got a nice, right, oversold thing. They had a little Mountain Gox news out, yeah, you know, into the weekend, and that kind of flushed things out a little bit. But we're into support, and 60,000 has been like a rock. Like, you know, we've had numerous kind of like, numerous inflection points around this area that i think is going to be um yeah i think is going to be a, a nice spot so let's see if we can get a little bit of heat on this bad boy too all right i love you guys peace